Welcome back everyone to Pokemon Ash Grey! In the last video we finally triggered that cutscene that I tried to trigger like a million times years ago where Ash went in the cave with all his Pokemon and we'll call together. I love that episode. I remember the song, it was all like, you will always be my best friend, something, I, I, okay I won't sing it. Alright let's keep going. Um, we met Santa Claus in the last video, that was a plus. Yeah, I've always wanted to meet Santa Claus I saw this Pokeball, oh it's all the way back there. Damn it, my, all my repels are going to wear off, and I don't know if this is going to be worth it. That better be a really good item all the way over there, because I'm really going out my way to get this item. I, I really seriously am. Alright, it's all the way back here. And can I walk over this? Okay, no, it's actually on this ledge, apparently. Alright, please be a really super awesome rare, rare candy or something. Because I'm wasting a lot of repels on you. Blizzard! It's Blizzard! I'm so happy! Oh, I'm so happy I got Blizzard! I can teach you to Lapras! Well, I want to get Lapras eventually, you know? Let's get out of here before I face a bajillion random seals. That'll drive me crazy. Lapras! No! No, oh, where's Lapras? I'm gonna face a random seal! No! Damn you, seal! Seal, seal! Hold on! Hold on! Mm, ignore that. <laughs> I don't know how many people get that reference. Hodor's the evolved version of Snorlax, by the way. <laughs> okay, I ran out of repels. This this blows. Uh, damn you, Seal. Hey, if you was like level 34, then at least I'll Thunderbolt you to get some experience. But no, level 24. He must be on the side. Uh, where's Lapras? Maybe I have to click the C and it'll appear. But like, alright, Lapras, here's your splashing of the water. It comes to rescue you. Let me see. No, it must be on the side. Oh, there it is. Hello, Lapras. Have you... I can barely read this. It's like light blue. Yes, please. Very well, let's go. Thanks, Lapras. Lapras now loves you. Oh, wait, no! Lapras, come back! Oh, did I do it wrong? I'll go back there later if I need to. If it'll let me. If not, then frickin' I screwed up. <laughs> but it would make sense. Cause if I need to go across water, then it would just give me a Lapras, right? It would make it more simple than that. All right, let me just double check something good. It's all recording. Let's keep going. Uh, let's go see that Eevee. Um, let me just check who's the friend of my team. It's Pikachu. We're going to go and you put... Uh, I say Chamina, but you know what? No. Okay, we'll, we'll stick to Pikachu for a little bit longer. Oh, Heavey. Oh, Heavey? It's an Eevee, but it might have a trainer. It has a tag on its call that says Stone Town. Yeah, I'll do that. Hey, I'm going to steal this Pokemon. <laughs> I'm like Team Rocket. You know Team Rocket? You know what? Team Rocket is so unlucky. Like, why don't they come across a random Eevee and steal it? They get so unlucky. They do. Uh, what's this? Stone Town. Okay. Let's trigger said cutscene. Oh, Eevee! I hid it in the forest so that my brothers won't make it evolve. They're known as the Eevee brothers. Uh, but I just want to be an Eevee trainer. Okay, I guess I'll face your brothers in a second. Here, here, here's ha have your Eevee. So I'm a nice guy. Uh, I'm going to double check back here. Because I think I went past a lot of lands. Oh, there's a guy here. Let's talk to him. Groovy. Greetings, child of the universe. What? I'm not alone. I got my music. Oh, this is the Jigglypuff episode. I hope I don't get put asleep. And then have, like, the markers drawn all over my face. Now that you hear my music, you have to give me food. Is my flute playing at least worth a sandwich? You don't have any food? No free concert? Actually, isn't Blaine, um... Doesn't he just have loads of riddles in the anime? Oh, it's Snorlax. Hello, Snorlax. It's blocking the dam. How do I get to that? Let's go down here. Let's see what this guy has to say about that Snorlax. You're a trainer, aren't you? My crops are all dried up. Something is blocking the river. If I don't get any water, my family will starve. Oh, there we go. A little side quest here. Let's see where this side leads. Um. I'm going to go back to Stone Town because I want to face the Eevee Brewers. I can't just go straight past them like that. I'll be missing out on a bunch of experience already. Something. Maybe trigger something. I don't know. So, let's go back to Stone Town real quick. I'll figure out the Snorlax thing later. Um, can we go around the side of this place? Not this side. Maybe the other side. Might be an item. Nope. Okay, let's talk to them. Welcome to our evolution garden. Alright, there we go. Uh, the first one, that's the uh, water one. So, that'd be Vaporeon, right? Since you're a swimmer. Yeah. Uh, they're all going to be level 35. This is good experience here. So A is not complaining. It's free experience. No. I love me some free experience. So 
That's a great start. Uh, the reason I've kept Thunder Wave, by the way, is I know there's a chance of paralyzing it with Thunderbolt, Thunder, uh, physical damage on my Pikachu, etc. But I like a guaranteed paralysis. It's just nice to keep that as a move. And then use the light screen straight after. It just gives me such a good... Against a person with 5-6 Pokemon, it's such a good combo. It really is. Um, okay, the next one's going to be... Oh, I'll sound Squirtle and I'll face the fire guy next. There he is. The party is for the celebration. The evolution of Pokemon with evolution stones. I got like a really big mole there. Sorry, I don't know if you guys saw that. I got a little bit of a mole on my, my shoulder side. It's annoying. Freaking moles. Uh, what a pulse. Even though Bubble Beam has an extra 5, which then would be an extra 10 from the um, super effective, followed by the stab, you know. It actually makes a big difference. I'll go for Bubble Beam. Big difference in damage, it should be. Let's see. Yeah, it does a decent chunk more. Maybe I should... I don't know. I, I do like the confusion aspect. What are the chances of that? My turtle is going to end up being like fried fish. It's freaking going to be like sushi. Freaking brilliant. Oh god, this is just going terribly, horrifically wrong right now. Damn it, Squirtle, just hit your bubble beam. Thank you, Squirtle. Thank you, you know what? I, I won't get mad at you anymore, Squirtle. Okay, we're cool, we're cool, good, we're straight, awesome. Anyway, um, bunch of experience, awesome, awesome. When do you learn Hydro Pump, Squirtle? I need to find out. Uh, no, Squirtle, no. Even though we've gone past the cave scene, which I kind of saved all this for. Now we'll get to the Bulbasaur scene soon, right? Where it just decides not to evolve. With all the, like, the Venusaur and the Ivysaur. But that's which has a little solar beam. <sighs> Who gets next? The electric one? Uh, oh man, none of these really have a big advantage. Bulbasaur would be pretty good against a Jolteon, I guess. Well, uh, we'll try that. I, I do have Giga Drain, which is a really good move. I wonder if I'll get anything given to me after being all three of them, or if they'll let me into the house behind them. That'd be nice. She, you know, that kid has some really strange, diverse group of brothers. You know, like a professional swimmer, a guy that loves fire too much, and then an electric dude. Like, I guess it matches the Eevee evolutions, but what are the chances you have that for your three brothers? It's like if I had a brother that was, I don't know, a ballerina, a footballer, and a breakdancer guy. And I'd be like, man, what the chances? You know, why do I say two dancing things and then football? I actually really like football, okay? I'm gonna have a sleep powder. I really wanna put this thing to sleep. But it actually looks like a rock star Jolteon does with all its spikes. I missed! Damn it! Oh god. Oh, this is gonna suck. It's gonna keep using sand attack on me. Alright, I'm swapping out. Screw you, Bulbasaur, and your sand attack. Um. Man oh man, I'll just send a Pikachu. I can't really send out Charmander because he's going to do so much damage against my Charmander with an electric attack. Oh god. Isn't Shockwave... Do I have Shockwave? No, I don't. I don't even have Shockwave. Jesus! Let's go to Thunderbolt. It's going to do a lot of damage anyway. Just watch, guys. Pikachu is so OP. Watch this. I'm gonna learn flamethrower. I feel like a fool right now. Yeah, watch this. Ugh! Ow! Why do I keep slapping myself? Uh, anyway, back to Pokemon. <laughs> oh, God. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I beat, I beat Jolion. That's, that's all that matters, guys. You didn't see what happened with that Volt Absorb thing. You know, you never saw that. That didn't happen, okay? It was all a myth. Maybe you should think about evolving them. Try this. Oh, they're all, they're all gonna give me a stone. Awesome, I can sell those for loads of money. I've already got a Thunderstone, by the way. Just saying, I, I, I tried to evolve my Pikachu a long time ago, and I just I've decided against it. So thanks for all the stones. Now what have I talked to them? All right, let's talk to him now. Let's beat all your brothers. How'd you feel? N no, nothing. Okay. Um, I want to heal my team, so I'm gonna quickly go back to a Pokemon Center. 
Actually, it might be quite... You know, it's a long way away. I'm not even going to bother. Let's go back to the Snorlax then, which is near the Dark Town. I don't know why it's called Dark Town. Freaking... It's not like it's getting it dark, is it? Yeah, you know, just saying. Um, I don't know why... Um, this is Snorlax. It's blocking the water from the spring. How do I get into that house over there? Isn't the house locked? I don't know. I'll try and click on the door again or something. Yeah, the door's locked. Alright, I'll have to do that at some other point. I need to find a poker flute, I would imagine, or something like that to wake up the Snorlax. Unless I need to speak to the guy who did the singing. Yeah, I'll speak to you again real quick. What's the rush, dude? A Snorlax block in the river? That's little dude is mine. It loves the suits. I can't even take it for a walk and just wake up with some of... You want to move it? Here, use my flute. Oh, yeah, I thought so. Do I want to catch... I want to catch this, right? I don't have to save this trying to catch it. It's going to be tough. I've got a lot of Ultra Balls, though. Um, let's wake it, we'll wake it from the other side. Okay. I'm going to save the game here. It's very important I don't screw this up. <laughs> that would suck. Okay, there we go. And uh, who's my Pokemon? It's Pikachu, right? It's both, no, I need, I need to send out Pikachu, really. So this is going to be tough. There we go. Here we go. I got like... Six or seven Ultra Balls. Hopefully that's enough to catch this dude. Wait, actually no. The Slikes is that, guys. So I can't really catch it, can I? I'll try. I'll, I'll catch the guy's Pokemon if it'll let me. I don't want to make this thing faint. Even though Snorlax is like a tank. So hard to make this Pokemon faint, it's ridiculous. Alright, the good news is there, as I did literally almost half its health. I don't like Yawn, it's so irritating. But hey, if this doesn't crit, god forbid, then I, at least maybe I can catch this. Okay. Oh no, and now my Pikachu's asleep. Just brilliant, eh? Just bloody brilliant. I have to waste a freaking turn on and using an Awakening now. And then it might just use that, um... What's it called? Uh, is it Sleep Eater or something? It's like a move he can do when he's asleep, which does damage. It's ridiculous. Alright, here's the Awakening. I hate Snorlax. He drives me crazy. He really does. Just drives me absolutely insane. But I'll do my best. Maybe I should try Thunder. Nah, it might have been too strong. I don't know. Whoa! I did a lot of damage. And it did a lot of damage. Oh, oh it's Snore. What? What? No! This Snore, that's good. Let's make my whole team faint. If I'm not careful. Alright, Ultra Ball. There we go. If it'll let me catch him, I hope so. Hey. Can, I, can I catch this guy? <gasps> I catch the guy's Snore. Here's my Snore. That's mine now, bitch. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I'm just really happy. <laughs> I get happy sometimes. I got Snorlax! The trees behind Snorlax are still blocking the path of the river. I'll use my hatchet. And then I have to use it from the other side, right? Oh, yeah! I don't have to cut both of them! Hello! Yay, now I can feed my family! Let me give you something. I received the Miracle Seed. I put the Miracle Seed in my other pants pocket. Awesome. You don't mind me catching your Snorlax, do you? Okay. It was, it was his, right? I, 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 I don't know. I thought it was his. If it isn't, then whatever. He's mine now. <laughs> your Snorlax is not mine now, good sir. Alright, the music is really ominous here. Uh, it's the, what, Dark Town? Dark City? Okay, guys, uh, let me speak to this kid real quick. Yay! Get back inside the house right now! What if there are Pokemon traders out? They'll beat you up! Okay. In the next video, we'll continue on. We'll go through Dark City. Things must be getting pretty good now, right? I'm really enjoying this. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all again very soon. Goodbye, everyone.